Hey guys, Keith here from Injector Rehab. Uh, today's video is going to go over some common problem injectors and some things that you might find uh, in your injectors as far as removing filters that are a little bit more difficult to, to get out than other videos that we put out showing how that's done. Um, we'll show you some of the, uh, the ways that we do that here and go over some other things that you guys might find out in the field that uh, hopefully this helps you out with. All right, we'll start this off with the most common question that we get nowadays about the Bosch 158 series injectors. Is this piece replaceable? The answer is no. It's not replaceable. It's not a pencil cap. We don't have it on the website. It is molded into the body. It goes up underneath of that little lip there. Um, an O-ring can still go on the injector, and it may still seal. However, it is able to just slide right off. I would not suggest using the injector. I would replace it. These injectors were also designed to run without a filter inside. People ask all the time about having a filter. We have not developed one yet and there's nothing on the table at this moment. So more of our common problem injectors would be these Delphi injectors. Uh, they come out of a lot of GMs and they get carbon build up on the bottom blocking the flow. Uh, they also have a filter way down deep inside there. The standard uh, filter removal tool that we sell can't reach down there so we have other methods of getting it out. Um, longer screws, it's basically the same principle uh, of the tool that we sell. Uh, but this just makes it a little bit easier for us when we're doing a lot of these at one time. A viewer in another video asked to see a close-up of one of these crusty filters. Of course, I ripped this one off of the brass crush ring trying to show you here. But I do have some others to show you some close-ups of how the mesh material in the filter just gets disgusting. And you can compare that to a newer filter here where the material is basically see-through it's so clean that's how it should look when you're replacing the filter on these Delphi injectors you basically just drop the filter down inside the injector similar to a flush mount injector you just need to tap the filter a little further down in there to seat it so we're using a punch on these types just to get down in there. So the Bosch Type 3, or basically any plastic body injector like Denso, the tops here have a little O-ring retainer that can crack, especially when you're removing the filter out of the top. Part number 2-144 is the replacement upper O-ring retainer. Many injectors have a little tab on the bottom that help keep the electrical connection connected to the injector. If that's gone, the injector is basically garbage. So Jex manufactured for Nissan and Infiniti. They had subpar coil winding coatings on them causing the coils to fail. A4600 is the number you'll see on any Jex injector. All of them had problems with the coils. So these little Weber injectors found on a lot of motorcycles and Merc cruisers, I hate with a passion. They have a metal body with a plastic electrical connection that always comes loose. They're so fragile. And once it comes loose, there's no fixing it. This is a cold start injector and these fail fairly often. The good news is that they clean up very well with our service.
So this is a can injector from a Honda or Yamaha. The filters on these tend to just fall out when people have them. They lose them. Uh, we've made a new filter that has a crush ring on it. So it's still the same filter, but it's able to be tapped in there and it held in place. So this is a Rochester injector. If you have one of these, literally throw it out. Same with these Siemens injectors. They're found in a lot of Fords and Chryslers, Jeeps. They are um, come in different sizes, but they all have a really bad spray pattern. They also tend to expand and crack. They'll form a, a bubble on the outside of the injector, split and cause engine fires. We always recommend replacing it with a Bosch that flows the same the same o-ring to o-ring height these hose end injectors are very old at this point uh, old technology they also use an actual pintle inside spray pattern is not always the best our teal monsters they're a newer technology and they use a four hole spray pattern as you can see here we have direct drop in replacements for almost any application out there and your engine will run so much smoother So those are some of the common problem injectors that are out there. Um, and this video came as a suggestion from one of the viewers. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions of videos that you'd like to see, uh, just leave them in the comments down below. Um, a lot of this stuff is everyday stuff to us and we don't really know what you guys want to see. Uh, a lot of this stuff is pretty cool, but again, we, we don't think it is because we've seen it for 20 something years. So. Um, yeah, give us suggestions of anything you'd like to see. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the notifications button down below. This way when new videos come out, you'll be able to see what we're uh, putting up. So thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.